Also, I can add variable default value. So I go to variables file. Right here, I write default. And I open the terminal. Scroll up. Remember, I wrote here this long string. It is very annoying to write it every time. So I will copy it. Paste it here in the default. And for the policy count, I also will write default equals zero. That's easy. It. I open the terminal. I clear it. I write Terraform apply. And that is all. No more variables. And look what is happening. Terraform here. It didn't ask me for new variables or for variable input. It is going to destroy policy number one because the default value was zero. So no policy should be created. If I go to main, you see it is count here and count will have the value zero. So nothing will be created. In the terminal, I see the full policy which will be deleted. I also have here an information that policy string must be replaced because I am going to change the description. Before my update, it was description from manual input variable. And right now it will become description for policy string. That is this one without manual. So one to add, two to destroy. I write yes. And you see the result. One resource is added to destroy it. Go to AWS, refresh the page. I only have the policy string. The description is old. AWS is a bit lagging, so it can show you the old description. I refreshed the page completely. I filter again by customer managed, and now I see the new description. I open the policy. And also I see the creation time, mine today's date, and it is April 14. I want to show you another trick. For example, you want to run Terraform apply, and you want to overwrite this zero or overwrite the policy description. How you do it? I clear the terminal again. I write Terraform apply space hyphen var. OK, it split it me on a new line. Here I write policy count. So I copy the variable name, paste it here in the terminal, equals two. And again, I write hyphen var space. I copy policy description, paste it here, equals. I open double quotes and I write updated this description in the terminal. Close double quotes. It is ready. Press enter. And look what is happening. First, Terraform didn't ask me for manual input because I already provided the variables. It is going to create policy number zero, policy number one. And it is going to replace the policy because I updated the description. So if I press yes, it will be updated. Very good. Open AWS, refresh the page. You see the new description updated from in the terminal policies. Filter by type, customer managed, policy number zero, policy number one. That is all about my changes. I open VS Code. I go to Git section. I check variables TF. I edit the defaults plus to add it to the stage. Close the changes and write the commit message. Edit default value to input variables. New line input variables. Commit. 